There's a new update in Pokemon Go that has made the number one XP farming method two times as efficient, which is a great opportunity for everyone trying to level up, get to 40, 50, or just get some more XP. But there's a catch. It's only around for five more days. But you know it isn't going away in five days that is eating away at my soul day by day, the Daily Incense. Featuring the brand new Galarian birds, which I can't find. And then you got this crazy video of JT Gilly getting literally back to back Galarian Articuno spawns, which is obscene, dude. This is day four of the Daily Incense. Oh, let's get these birds. Starly. Ew, Combuskin. Well, that's cool. Feel. Seal. Let's feel. Seal. Hey, Palm. Yeah, Isuian Voltorb. Oh, Cliff a Jigglypuff. Dingle. Ponyta. Croagunk. No Zubat. Another Hisuian Voltorb. Gah, Swinub. <sighs> Voltorb. Whirlpool. Oh my god, seven kilometer eggs. I mean, do we do we stop walking? I, we need to get the, the spawns. One. Nice. What well, the big thing is, though, is some more Sneasel. Very cool. It'd be really, really awesome to be able to get like a 100% IV Galarian Sneasel or uh, Hisuian, not Galarian, Hisuian Sneasel or Growlithe. I'm currently walking my Sneasel now, so hopefully today as well we can evolve to our first ever, it's a, it's a, a Weavile, right? A Hisuian Weavile? God, we'll see. It's just a tragedy that nothing can be shiny out of the eggs. Only downside of them. Well, that was fantastic. Did we get any good ones? No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, this thing can evolve? Win 10 raids? Psh, we'll do that today. Carvana gone. You imagine that's when the Galarian bird spawned? A palm. Oh, Hisuian quillfish. Another Voltorb. Boizel. That's a Zigzagoon. Not two in the last minute. Yanma. In 15 seconds, will we get one more spawn? We will, and it's a Swablu, which I can't catch because my storage is full. Awesome. And it's a Swablu. Ugh. Day four of getting shafted by the Daily Incense. Although we caught 23 today, which is a new record for me, but none of them. Where are the birds? All right, now that that's over, XP grinders, what are we looking at today? Right now in Pokemon Go, the number one way to gain XP is this, your research breakthrough box. That's a complete lie, but let's open it, shall we? Should be Galarian Stunfisk? It's Lickitung. Gala Galarian Stunfisk is in several days. Should have waited. Now, the real number one way in Pokemon Go to gain XP right now is right here, your friends list. For example, if I drop a cheeky lucky egg, and open this gift for my friend 079U. As you can see, we have two more days until best friends, but because of this update, opening this gift will put us to best friends, which equals, with a lucky egg, 200,000 XP. An easy 200K, which would have taken me so many raids to do. Speaking of raids, actually, we're gonna swap out a Sneasel right now real quick, get our Quillfish out, and let's knock down these 10 raids Get the Quillfish Evolved, because I've never seen its evolution before. I'm actually really excited for it. We'll talk a little more about this feature. Well, we actually take out a Dialga, which is great, because if you don't remember yesterday's video, we got a Shiny 98, which means I need so many more candies and Exo candies, and I forgot to Mega Evolve a Latios. Gosh darn it. In Pokemon Go, you need a total of 176 million XP to get to level 50. That is an obscene amount of XP, and there are at least two people in this raid that aren't tapping their phone screen. Guys. So, what's the best way to gain XP? Through friendship in Pokemon Go. In Pokemon Go, you can hold up to 400 people on your friends list. Up to 400 friends. And every time you level up your friendship with someone, you get an XP bonus for doing that. There are four XP bonuses in four friendship levels. You get 3,000 XP at good friends, or 6,000 with a lucky egg. 10,000 at great friends, or 20,000 with an egg. 50,000 at ultra friends, or a 100,000 with a lucky egg. And as you saw, 100,000 XP for hitting best friends, or 200 thousand XP and it takes 90 days of interaction in order to get two best friends in Pokemon Go. So in 90 days, which is a month and a half, if you dropped a lucky egg every single time you level up your friendship with that person and got the two times XP bonus, you'd get a total of 326,000 XP from your friendship with that person. Now, obviously you're not gonna drop a lucky egg for every single occasion. Usually it's only for best friends. So let's talk best friends. If you add the max of 400 people on your friends list and you get to best friends with all of them and every Every time you hit best friends with them, you lucky egg, that would equate to 80 million XP just from the best buddy 
friendship bonus alone. 80 million, and you could always remove people from your friends list and add new ones when you hit best friends. So to reiterate, that's just the best strategy for gaining XP in Pokemon Go. Now, what's happening right now that helps it? Well, currently, your friendship levels up two times as fast with your friends. Like you saw me do, if you open up a gift, instead of getting one day progress towards the next level, you get two days progress, and I just white screened in this raid. There's absolutely no way. Please put me back in the raid. Yes! Right now in Pokemon Go, you can also open up to 45 gifts a day and send up to 150 gifts per day. Which means, that'll go. Right now is the absolute best time to level up your friendship with your friends in Pokemon Go, which means it's really the best time to grind XP. Work your way to best buddies with all of your friends, make sure you have a lucky egg down when you hit best friends, and by doing that, you'll maximize your XP gain in Pokemon Go. Now you can't see it, but this car is absolutely filthy. So I gotta get the baby washed, but we still have a couple things to talk about and do that I'm really excited about. Okay, car is washed, life is good, and I finally walked the seven kilometers needed to get our Sneasel here and evolve this thing over to, I am assuming it's called Hisuian Weavile, although I'm not exactly sure because I Quillfish could evolve and I didn't know that was a thing, so I have seen this before. It looks really, this looks so cool. Dude, it like looks like what it's shiny would look like. Does that make sense? Oh, it's Sneasler. Oh, it's in the Pokedex. It is a brand new Pokemon. Sick. Oh, I'm glad we saw a Pokedex screen today. Brand new Sneasler in the, this thing looks it literally incredible. Oh my God, I love that. I think it's actually decent in the Go Battle League too, I think. And we are one right away. We're at nine out of 10 for Willfish to evolve this, and I want to talk about some stuff too. Oh, cool, look at this. Congratulations, you earned a medal. Register one Pokemon from the High Sioux region. <laughs> That's actually really cool that we got that. We've got our last raid, and it's a freaking doozy. It's a Mega Gengar. Why am I raiding this? Because I need one more raid ASAP. <laughs> but while we're battling this, I feel like I have like a chance to, I guess, catch up with you all on the channel. We haven't like talked in like a month, <laughs> because obviously the adventures have been so incredible. The last month has been amazing. We've had a lot of fun, creative video ideas come out. We obviously traveled a lot. I've got three weeks back here in Los Angeles, and then I head to London for Pokemon Worlds which a with a bunch of friends that we all know here, a bunch of Pokemon Go people, and then I'll be going to GamesCon after that as well, so to Germany. So the adventures resume next month, but like, there's a lot that's going to happen between now and then. I've got several new YouTube channel ideas that I have that we're gonna start uploading for Hopefully this weekend and definitely next week, so if any of this interests you, stay tuned for it. For onesies, the Clash of Clans, and yes, Clash Royale. I'll be making some Clash Royale videos. I rage when I play that game. Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content is gonna start resuming a um, couple times a week on the Mystic 7 Plays channel. Some really fun things, some expensive challenges, some really cool stuff. So if you still play those games or you're interested in them, check out the Mystic 7 Plays channel. I made a shorts channel a while back and like we did it and it was fun, but we're gonna repurpose the shorts channel to a reaction channel. And I think the first video is gonna be me reacting to some of the top shiny Pokemon moments in Pokemon Go history. It's gonna be a really cool video. The link for that will be down in the description below, so check that out and then we'll be making frequent, consistent reaction content. Yes, we're doing reaction content. And then I'll be making a third channel, which will be uh, for Shiny Gengar, specifically for pack opening. We're gonna get back into the Pokemon card openings. I'm actually really excited to do that because the Pokemon company sent me a big box of Pokemon Go cards, so we're gonna open that first. But I have a lot of challenge ideas and fun ideas like $500 in modern versus $5,000 in vintage and opening up an XY Evolutions booster box versus an XY or a base set booster box, like crazy stuff, crazy challenges, big money, and hopefully some huge pulls. But that's happening soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that because that's gonna be a really, really fun channel and a lot of stuff is gonna go down there. And then a secret project that I'm working on as well that's gonna be hopefully coming out pretty soon, or at least starting pretty soon. Okay, we've got our cool fish. We can finally evolve this thing. I have no idea what it evolves into, what the name of it is, nor what it looks like. I just know that it looks like a sea urchin, and that's pretty much the extent of my knowledge. And it's gonna be... <laughs> this thing looks insane, dude. Oh my God, over quill into the Pokedex, into the Pokedex, over quill and put, dude, this thing looks wild. Man, these Hisuian Pokemon look really cool. Like, act like super duper cool. They're very vibrant and like, I love like the purples and pinks and that is so sick, dude. Also, it's got thorns coming out of its eyes. I feel like that's just a liability for eyesight, but it is what it is. Wow, very cool. We got our brand new Overquill and our brand new Sneasler in Pokemon Go today. Awesome adventure. Hope you all enjoyed and I hope you're excited for some of the future content that we have planned for the next couple of weeks. It's gonna be exciting. If you are, check out the other videos on screen. I'll see you in there. Take care.